I'm going to key in 44 times 46. That should give me 2024. And it does. And if you look at the upper left hand corner where it says workspace, I double click on answer and it's 2024. And the command history shows 44 times 46. Now, this is an automatic variable that is created. I can create my own variables. Let's do that. X equals 21 times 29. Let's see, that should come to 609. Yes, I think so. 609. Let's find out. It does. 609. But if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a new variable has been created. The X variable. I double-click on it, and you can see it says 609. I'm going to create another variable called y. I'm going to make it equal to 32 times 38. That should be 1216. And it is. If you'll look in the upper left hand corner, in the workspace area, you'll see the variable y. I double click on it, 1216 is there. Now I'm going to do something different. I'm going to ask you to take a look at X. X currently has 609 in it. If I change the value of X, what will it do? Put in another variable X or overwrite the old one? It'll probably overwrite the old one. Let's put in 65 raised to the 2 power. 65 squared should give me. Uh, 4225. 4225, let's see. Yes, it is. And if I go over to the x variable, there's only one, not another one has been added. I double click and you can see, oh, it says 609. Why? Because I didn't assign it to the x variable. Oops, my bad. Let's do that now. x equals 65 raised to the 2 power. I'm going to hit enter. Let's see what happens. I get 4225, as we stated before, but I now double click on X and bada bing, there it is, 4225. It has been updated. Now, I want to clear things off. If I want to clear off my command window before we did edit and clear command window. This time, we're going to key in the command CLC, which means clear off the command window. And it works. Now, I want to clear out the command history. I go over to the command history area. I click in it. Right click. Right click. And I see delete entire history. I click on it, yes, and it's all gone. I go up to the workspace area, right click, clear workspace. Are you sure? Yes, and it's all gone. Another way to do it. What do you know? That's all I want to talk with you about today. This is George Bull saying bye bye.